Hi guys, in today's show, I'm going to work out a different color scheme for kits that I'm building. What am I talking about? I'll show you after this message. If you like the video or channel, please consider subscribe, like, share or comment. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Cake from Cake Plum Modeling Show. Today I'm going to try to do a color visualization of a um, high gray gun cannon. Now, as you know, the kit was molded in red and everything is red, but I want a slightly different color scheme. So rather than just having it in my head before I do a painting, I want to put it onto like an image or something like that so I can see what it looks like. That's the idea of um, doing a color visualization. So um, a lot of people, what they do is they use Photoshop to isolate each panel and then put color onto it. But Photoshop is far too expensive and it's time consuming process. So I work out this new different process here, which I use a freeware called GIM. Now GIM is a, like I said, it's a freeware. It's it doesn't cost any money and it, you don't have need subscription or anything, and it's very compatible with Photoshop. Probably not as sophisticated as Photoshop, but it pretty much do the same thing, which is image manipulation. Now uh, there are tons and tons of tutorial about how to use GIMP on the internet. I'll put some link down in the description, so if you if you're interested, feel free to have a look at that. Now, next thing I need to do is to get a uh, well-defined image of a gun cannon. I need something with very, f with well-defined boundary lines between the panels and also color as well. This is crucial because when I'm doing the coloring, um, they need to be able. I need to be able to separate each panel there. So I'm gonna open that file in GIMP. So before I do anything, I'm going to make a copy of the image by creating a, a duplicate layer. Uh, just like any other graphics applications, uh, GIMPs use a layer concept where your final image or final result is a collection of different layer of images. So as you can see, I make a backup or a duplicate. Now in order to do the work, I'm going to use a tool called Bucket Fill within GIMP. The tool actually, what it does is it fill an area that I select um, to the foreground color. Now it works in different mode as well. Uh, the first one is you can select an area and it fill that area with whatever color you choose. The other option is it fill an area which has the same color, similar color. And that, that's why I said it's crucial to have all the boundary lines defined clearly as well, because then it will fill whatever within that boundary lines. So for example, say if I do a fill selected area, I can just select an area and I'm gonna change the foreground color to something else. Say, let's try a red here. And then if I click onto the area with the bucket tool, it will just fill that area. You can see it's only fill that square there. But obviously that's not what we want to do. We want to fill a panel with the same color. So, um, so I'm gonna change it to a different foreground and make sure I select fill to a um, fill to the same color. And then if I click one of the panel there, um, you can see I've at the moment I, I set it to set the foreground color to red uh, to black. But when I click onto that area, it just fill that area. And it's not going to feel outside the area because I've got the uh, boundary lines there. But because everything within that area is red, it will just fill that with my foreground color. Uh, but obviously, I don't want that to be black. Um, I want it to be something else. So I'm just going to undo that action and I'm going to select a different color. And I'm probably going to choose a yellow color there. And you can see there's a color palettes that you can change the color to, whatever you like. It's got different shade, um, shades and and we basically just click onto the one that you want and it's got, or you can use color code as well if you, if you know the coding of the color that you're trying to use. 
and so I've got I'm gonna choose a yellow color here and I click on the panel it's fill that panel with yellow and I can click on the other one and it start filling so it's actually quite fun so you can see it's just fill whatever with the same color within the boundary uh, it's not going to fill anything outside you just need to click the outside area to fill the outside area and I can also do a zoom in as well I, if I find there's some small area that I can't, can't click onto so I can just keep on filling it and I can put different shade of yellow as well and you can undo anytime you like if you don't like certain area being filled and let's see I got a different shade there and obviously I can change the color as well say so there are parts that I want a different color uh, so I'm going to select a white color and I'll just fill the other part with white color and there you go and you can I'm just going to show you the result here and now there's a um, I've got a few other example like uh, Gilmora um, see this different color and a goof which is a different color scheme as well and this is a work this is actually a work in progress that I'm uh, I have using that say that, that color scheme that I've worked on anyway hope you enjoy the show hope you find it useful um, if you if you like the show please make sure to subscribe like share and if you want me to discuss any topic feel free to give me a comment we'll work on it on the next episode of Gunpla Morning Show thank you bye